it was a little harder than it looked on the TV. But catching that near jaw is a guaranteed recipe for failure. Yeah, and I detected just a slight bounce there. I don't know if it was a heavy contact. Now, Ronnie's got to put all this frustration behind him now. He's been offered a lifeline himself here. He's given a few to his opponent. Well, Ricky has given him one. Can he make the most of it? And Ricky shakes his head. Struck that very well. Eight. I think he's got high enough on the red that he can successfully get back on the black. Nine. And a nice little cannon now should open up more reds. I think he can slide past to get the cannon. If he does choose the red into the left corner, he could open up the reds even more. 16. Pop this screw back for black or pink. Seventy. Yeah, I think he'd have preferred the pink, but the pink won't go into the left middle now, so there's a little bit of pressure on this black. I know we're talking about Ronnie O'Sullivan, one of the greatest players ever, but there's pressure on this. Solid, right in the heart of the pocket. Now he's given himself the chance to put all those mistakes, lifelines he's handed his opponent. Twenty-four. And a chance now to win frame and match at this visit, and Ricky Walden knows it. Twenty-five. Hasn't played too many left-handed shots this match. Struck that as if he'd played the whole match left-handed. It's not just the fact that he can play left-handed, he hits the ball so positively as well. 31. OK, the pink's now tied up. <laughs> 32. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Mm, got into that a little bit too much, but I think he's 45. okay. He's not absolutely in perfect. Can he get through to this red? Just about. 46. So this black will put in 45 points in front with 67 remaining. Two more reds and colours. That's 53. what's required. 54. Well, he's recovered his composure superbly here, Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's what you expect of champions, but you keep on having to reassert yourself at this game. He may, he may feel as if he hasn't had a good performance today, but um, you know, there's different ways to uh, impress. And the way he's taken these so far has been excellent. And that's the frame and match winning ball that puts him 54 points in front with 51 remaining. It has to be said that Ricky Walden missing that red in the middle was a golden opportunity. It offered Ronnie this chance and he's taken it very well, but Ricky will be kicking himself because he had a chance to really put the pressure on the defending champion. 68. Ronnie's gone a little bit through the mill 
A bit of his own making, you have to say. But he'll be just pleased now to be across the line and into the quarter-final. 75. Well, of course, the only thing now that remains to be seen is whether Ronnie O'Sullivan can convert this into a, another century, which would equal Stephen Hendry's. Eighty-one. Eighty-two. Well, somehow he's got to disturb that yellow and brown. Oh. Somehow he's got to flute the yellow. Eighty-nine. You never know. You never know. There's six pockets on the table. Time record of centuries. Yes! Happy birthday, Steve! <laughs> Unbelievable! You couldn't make it up! 109. What a match! It had twists, it had turns, it had mistakes! But in the end, it was pure, 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 pure. This crowd have been enjoying one of the matches and one of these, well, the most amazing frames I've ever seen. Ronnie O'Sullivan through the quarterfinal, six frames to four, and equals the all-time century break record. What a game!